Today we're going to talk about calculating the right overhead and profit markup. Do you know and track your annual overhead costs? So many contractors don't really know their annual overhead. I always ask, what's your overhead? And I typically get, you know, 15, 20%. You know, I say, of what? 15, 20% of what? Of, of your sales or your job costs? What happens if your sales double? Does your overhead double? You know, I really don't know. So your annual overhead costs basically are a fixed number. The amount you're going to spend this year on overhead or all year. Uh, it's a fixed amount of money that covers every expense it takes for you to keep your doors open and do business during the year without any zero jobs under construction. So you mark up your job cost. So when I ask markup, it's how much money you mark up your job cost. So overhead markup is the annual amount of money to cover your overhead divided by your total annual job cost. So the example we're gonna to use today is revenue of 10 million job costs of about eight million. So that leaves a gross overhead and profit margin of $2 million. And if your overhead's 1 million five, your net profit's 500,000. So what's your markup? Your markup is 200 grand gross profit, which comprises of your overhead of a million five divided by 8 million job costs. That's about 19%. And your net profit of 500 grand divided by $8 million job costs is about 16%. So those total about 25% total markup. So that's the sample example we're going to use today for this little workshop on how to calculate your overhead and profit. By the way, if if you're having trouble keeping up with this program, I just came out with a new template package. It's available on my website, hardhatbizcoach.com. I have over 100 templates, including a complete financial and accounting management template. So hopefully you'll check it out. All right, so we have overhead at 1,500,000, 19%. Net profit, 500 grand divided by 8 million, 6%. Round numbers. In order to bid successfully and make some money, you got to know these numbers. So what does it take to recover your annual overhead? Well, you've got to have enough sales. It's a right markup, right? And to make profit, you got to have enough sales to cover your overhead and profit to hit your profit goal, correct? So what's included in overhead? Basically, it's, I said earlier, it's everything it costs to keep your business open with no jobs under construction. So that's your management, your non-project management, administrative staff, your president, your management team, estimating, accounting, administration, office staff, sales, marketing, and plus all the burden and taxes and insurance for all the people that sit in your office on a regular basis. It includes your vehicles for the overhead staff, your office supplies, your utilities, your computers, your rent, uh, your expenses, your training, recruiting, marketing sales, closed job, warranty work, insurance, banking, attorney, CPA, any contributions or associations you belong to or coaching services like me, hire me, right? And uh, contribution, and of course your taxes. So what does overhead not include? Anything that you've got in your bid or your estimate. That's your supervision, your project management, their vehicles, their gas, your trailers, all your equipment on the job, all your labor plus all their their labor burden markup, taxes, insurance, FICA, SUDA, FUDA, workers comp, all those kinds of things. All the equipment that is used out on the jobs at a rental cost, which you've probably got in your bid. All your small tools and, of course, your field crew, their labor, their burden, expenses, cell phones, all the things that they need to keep their job moving. So what does job cost include? Everything that's required to build the project, labor, equipment, material, subcontracts, permits, bonds, insurance, project management, field supervisors, superintendents, foremen, general foremen, crews, their labor burden, taxes, health insurance, vacation, sick days. Job costs include everything that's required to supervise, manage, and build the projects. So what's next? Of course, we want to make a profit. So I ask contractors all the time, how much profit you want to make? And of course, they always say as much as I can. So they say, well, I like to make 10%. So I say 10% of what? Is that gross or net or really gross? How much do you really want to make? And then I ask them, what was your net profit taxable income last year? How much did you make? And they're not really sure. So profit is return for taking risk for owning a business and performing construction. It's very risky. You should get a return on your risk, on your investment of, of the workload. 
For example, I want to make $250,000 this year. That's my, that's my goal. Or I want to make a net profit goal of $500,000. So notice it's not a percentage again. It's a fixed amount of money that I want to shoot for. Now, in order to convert it to a profit percentage of job costs, we have to convert total job cost divided by the profit, which equals the profit markup I want to achieve. For example, in this in this example again, if our revenue is 10 million and our job costs are 8 million, our gross profit is 2 million, our overhead is a million five, and our net profit is 500,000. So 500,000 divided by a job cost of 800 grand is a 6% markup for profit. That's what we want to make. 500,000 in this example, 6% markup, which converts to about a 5% gross margin, which is course, overhead and profit divided by sales. So as we close out this little exercise, let's give you an action plan. Number one, calculate your annual overhead costs. What's it cost to stay open with no jobs under construction? You don't need a foreman. You don't need a crew. You don't need a lot of trucks. You just got to pay your estimating, your staff, yourself, the owner, all the things required to get work. And so number two, you got to determine your net profit goal. What's your goal for this year, next year? Net profit, taxable income after all expenses, including your salary. So the national average for net profit earned is a simple formula. It's what I call ROOH, return on overhead. So the national average is if your overhead's a million dollars, we want to make a 50% return on overhead or a $500,000 net profit. So determine your overhead, multiply it by 50%, and that's an average net profit goal for the year. That's a simple formula that'll help you decide how much you want to make. If I know our overhead's, you know, 500 grand, I want to make 250 grand. My overhead's a million, I want to make 500 grand. If it's 2 million, I want to make a million. The best in class contractors make significantly more. I have several clients that we started out at 30 or 40% net profit, uh, return on overhead. And now they're 60, 70, 80% just by implementing some, some of the systems that we've helped them install and, and produce in their company. So how do we determine the markup now? Number three, we've got to determine the total markup that I can get. So you know your market, you know who you bid against, you know who you bid to, what will they allow you to charge to win work? You know, what's the market? Is it 15, 10, 20, 30? What can you make in the market that you work in? And every market's different and it depends on lots of things, the project type, the, the difficulty, the complexity. And of course, the simpler the work, the more it's a commodity, which means it's cheap. Expertise, qualifications required, high barrier to entry to get onto the bid list, your reputation, the number of bidders. Uh, do you have a great customer relationship where you might be able to negotiate or get last look. So let's just assume you can make 25% total gross profit markup, overhead plus profit divided by job cost. That works out to a 20% gross margin, which is overhead and profit divided by sales. Markup is overhead and profit divided by job cost. Margin is overhead and profit divided by sales. So you take 0.25 divided by 1.25, that gives you a 20% gross profit, gross profit, which is net profit divided by sales. So number four, last but not least, what sales do I need to achieve my goals at the markups I've calculated? All right, so we need to calculate the sales required to hit your overhead and profit goals. So the formula is the annual sales required to achieve your goals Let's just say at 25% markup, which equals 20% gross margin overhead and profit divided by sales. If your overhead's a million dollars and your profit goes 500,000, your total overhead and profit is a million five. And your net profit, of course, is 500,000. So annual sales required is 1 million five divided by gross margin or 20%. So 1 million five divided by 0.2 is 7 million five in sales. So in order to achieve our goals, we're gonna need seven and a half million in sales. So hopefully that helps you figure out 
the standard formulas to calculate your overhead and profit goals and to determine the markup you need to make any money. And if you just throw out numbers out there, you're never going to hit them. Then the main thing to do is make sure you hit your goals. We don't want profit fade or profit shrinkage. We got to stay on track and make our goals. So we need to have good accounting, good job cost tracking, scorecards for our field crews, et cetera, which all those ideas and templates and calculations are clearly outlined and given to you if you're interested in our templates. So visit my website at hardhatbizcoach.com. Click on the business tools and templates and you'll see what's available for you to use, implement, and help your business achieve your profit and overhead and net profit goals for the year.